What's up guys, I'm Vern. I'm Adam. Welcome to another edition of Poggy Boy Production Channel. So this is sort of like a Christmas kind of thing, unboxing. You haven't done an unboxing in a long time, right Hunter? No, man. I was wondering, is like, Vern, did Vern start ordering? <laughs> this is sort of a gift to myself before the end of the year. As you can see, we have our ugly sweaters today. And I got his festive Christmas hat. Rocking the Christmas today. <laughs> Got the blue balls going on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, looking forward to this unboxing. I don't know if Henry knows what it is, but I have no clue. Keep watching and you'll see what it is. All right, Henner, All right. go ahead. Yeah. Let's do it. I have no idea what this is. I kind of gave Henner. An idea of what it is so we'll see what his reaction is this is gonna be his first time seeing this product I've been following this for a while so got me interested and I checked it out and yeah what do looks like Ray-Bans <laughs> if you guys remember we unboxed the Ray-Ban with the video yep looks pretty cool right Hunter yeah it's called what is this and real and real air air what is this? Mm, interesting. Another pair of sunglasses. Mm, is this one of those uh, smart sunglasses? Again? Something like that. Something oh, like that. I need this because I could just rip this. Oh, it's taped. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, That's the easiest it's rippable. Unboxing. Yeah. Easiest unboxing I've ever seen. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. So it comes in a nice black box. Okay. I don't want to rip this open. Is there any uh, tape or anything? No. Okay. Oh, comes in a nice. It comes in a nice handy dandy case. Oh yeah, look case. at that. Cool case though. Kind of looks like the Ray Bans. Yeah, and it comes in like you know, it comes with the usual instruction manual. Uh, get. Get ready to use and real air. Here goes your cleaning cloth and your instruction manual. Um, the usual stuff here, and of course, like open this up. You got your chargers here. Oh, yeah, I'm assuming the charging cables are in there somewhere. Yeah, it's in the back here. But I don't want to rip this thing open. Like, uh, a nice box. <laughs> they did uh, package it well. Yeah, they did. Sometimes it's too good that you don't want to break it. Exactly. It's okay if you rip it a little bit. You can't open it. But I think yeah, Henry's managed to pull it apart a little bit. Okay. We got clips. What is this clips here? Oh, nice. Hmm. Is that for the nose or something? Yeah, it is. It's like the nose clips. Keep to keep the glasses on your face, I guess. Is this prescription, Vern? I'm not sure. I didn't have, I didn't order any prescription. I'm gonna have to read the instructions. <laughs> okay. Let's just, let's see. Okay, here it is. This is the star of the show. Wow, these are thick boys. <laughs> so there it is. This is the Enreal Air. Okay. So, any idea what you think, Henner? Something. Give me what you think. Something virtual? <laughs> yeah, these are actually AR glasses. For those who don't know, it's augmented reality, sort of like uh, the Oculus Quest is virtual, right? This is more augmented. So you wear this center, mm -hmm. and you actually see like uh, you could hook up your phone onto it, and you could walk around and you could watch a movie. You know what I'm saying? It's like floating in front of your face. But how do you walk around with if you're watching? I mean, it's not recommended you walk around with it. Oh, okay. but you'll see the background of, like people walking around you. But you'll have a giant. TV screen right in front of your face. Ah, interesting. How does it feel? Does it feel comfortable? It feels like regular shades though. Yeah, yeah. so it's... It feels it's, good. It's a thumbs up for me in terms of design. It's not like big and bulky like an Oculus Quest that yeah. goes all around your face. So yeah. Yeah, um, it comes with uh, two extra nose clips and I'm two guessing, lenses. I guess those are maybe replaceable lenses just in case something gets dirty or... It seems like it. Yeah. Right? Yep. I'm gonna have to read the instructions like always. Yeah, these are those. We have uh, replacement lenses just in case something goes wrong with the first one over here. Oh, yeah, at least they give you replacement lenses, which is good. You, you know, you never know if something goes wrong and stuff. And even it gives you a cover. 
Oh, nice. In case that you want full blackout, you know, because when I when I look through it, I could still see through the lenses, but it's very very hazy. I mean, I won't recognize your face if you come up to me, but I could still see through it. If somebody's in front of me, I could still see through it. But they give you a lens cover that totally blackens out the 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 video or whatever you're looking at. Yeah. So I don't know how to hook this up. Okay, we'll properly. play with it. And um, there should be a wire for it, I think, because you're going to connect this to your phone. Maybe a Type-C something. It's in there somewhere. We'll look for it. Okay. Uh, but um, other than that, I think we pretty much nope. looked through everything. There isn't. Okay. Well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> We're going to read the instructions. Oh. Yeah, I think we may have to. Oh, it's right oh, there. It's inside the case. It's inside the case, yes. So this is the Type C. Type C case. Uh, type C uh, cable. Yeah, and I think on the website you could, if you had an Apple phone or iPhone, you could, you know, request the type of wiring you need for your glasses. So I got, I got uh, obviously we're Samsung Android users, so we got the Type C cable, and it's also helpful for your, um, if you have a Steam Deck or a Nintendo Switch, easier to connect. So, all right, we're gonna read the instructions, uh, play around a little bit. And then we'll be right back. Alright, so I got my contact lens on because I didn't get prescription lenses. So it's easy enough to put together if you have the phone and your wire, your Type C, and the glasses here I have connected. It's easy to plug. But uh, we had problems running the app when we filmed it first time. And uh, if you look online, I, w I went through Reddit. They show you exactly what you need to do. I think you need to disable Dex because Dex starts up automatically if you have a Samsung phone and uh, that somehow messes up with the connection to the app make sure you guys download the nebula app that's what comes with it and uh, yeah that's how you get it to start so let's try it all right i got my um I got the glasses on let's go give this a try this is what i see on the screen so you have the option of air casting or ar space Right now we're going to try the AR space. And I actually recorded it. This is exactly what I see on the screen. It's pretty cool. Don't think you could hear that sound, but there's sound coming out from the left side. The sound is on on this side of the the eyepiece, I think. But yeah. So Here's what it looks like the, the controller. There's a little grid there. This is your your phone basically acts like a pointer and you can move it around. There's a bunch of apps here. That's pretty cool. It's like flying right in front of my face. For what it is, this is the AR capabilities of the app. Uh, I've tried the cycling, looks like you're actually this is good for beta. It's a beta. It's in beta right now, but you could ride a bike and actually look like you're Riding somewhere. Mm -hmm. And they have options for YouTube, Amazon, Digital Pet, Somi. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it works on my phone. I know they're testing out other different phones. So make sure you guys check it out before you 
bye make sure your phone is compatible and I hope they keep updating this because what they have here is pretty cool I also bought the Nreal adapter this is what it looks like um, I think it's about 60 maybe online to buy so this is how you can play your consoles right now I'm gonna try to play the PS5 what I did was this connect the HDMI cable from the back of the PS5 put it on here and what I did was connect the Nreal onto it like that and uh, now let's go rock some Call of Duty hopefully this works let's try it. The, the light is on I had that mistaken it was off so it wasn't connected but here it is you can see it about to rock some Call of Duty in here you see it? So yeah, works like a charm. All right, so apparently the cell phone is not working at the moment, so I'm gonna play around with it some more. Right now I got it hooked up to the Steam Deck and what Hunter sees, fortunately you can't see it here, but he can see the gameplay. And he's, how big is the screen to you? Yeah, it's know. basically the full screen from, you know. The size, the size. The of size of the, you know, the, the, the dimension of the glasses uh, width. Mm -hmm. That's how big the screen is right now. Do you see, uh, and you can still see my hand? Yes. So just a correction from what I said earlier, it was hazy because it had a screen protector. Um, but now that I've taken it off, I could see through it. So I could walk around, see people's faces. I see Vern's face. It, it's, it's like a shade. So the, the lens is a dark lens, right? And, but I could still see through it. So, um, and see the screen that whatever's in front of me. So there you go. I can hear the... <laughs> Volume of the Steam Deck. I can hear it from here too. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, I can see it because it's it's blurred out as you can see here. So I'm gonna find out a way to show you guys what he sees on the the glasses. But yeah, it works as it's intended. You don't see it when you see when you. I don't see it at all. I can't see. You just see the lenses, right? Yeah, it so, looks like you're just wearing glasses to me. Mm. So that's what makes it look cool because it's not like you don't look like the Terminator wearing you know like the. You can tell when someone's wearing those AR type of glasses. This looks like sunglasses. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. I mean, like, um, it's pretty clear. I mean, like, we're, in the in, we're indoors, of course, you, you shouldn't be using, using it outdoors. outdoors because the sun will probably take out the clarity of the game. Or it's whatever, probably going to be a big glare too, right? Yeah, but right now we're indoors. I mean, right now with the, the ring light um, shining on me, it's... It's really clear the the screen right now. Even though the ring light is really big, uh, yeah. bright, yeah, yeah, it's still it's still clear that it's not affecting um, you know what I see. But I do see the ring light around and right in front of me, but it's not affecting the the, the game visibility or whatever you see. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So I, I'm just gonna look here so that the ring light. I won't be looking at the <laughs> ring light, but now <laughs> if, you know I could see the game and stuff like that. All right. Pretty so what, cool. what do you think so far, Henry? Good. It's, it's really good. Yeah. This is this is way better than any other like um, glasses or you know visual stuff that we've. Um, it's not we've big. Tried. It's not bulky in your head. Yep. And it's clear. It's clear. That's the main point. And, and the the quality is really clear too. It's like 1080p quality and stuff like that. So it's really good. I want to see how this comes out if you're watching a movie from Netflix or something. Like yeah, that. this is exactly what you could use this for. Plug yeah. in your phone, put on Netflix. Be in the airplane, no one, no one will know you're watching a exactly. movie on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's really good. Very ins inconspicuous. Is that what you Yeah. Yep. So. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. So. Pretty good? Two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Um, would you recommend this to people, Hunter? Yes. But how much is this cost? It's about 300 plus. It's not cheap. Mm. It's sort of like a Christmas present to myself, so mm -hmm. figure, you know, yeah. I'll go out for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad for a brand new. It's a new tech. Like it's new def tech. Definitely new tech. I know there are other variations of this type. Uh, other companies put out some type of AR glasses. This is like the first, I believe, of many. Hopefully, the firmware, they'll update it, whatever needs to, to keep it going. But so far, Henry likes it. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, put put in some videos of me testing it with other devices like my phone or the Switch, and then uh, maybe show you a little video of what it looks like, mm -hmm. what we see through the screen. But uh, yeah, from what Henry tells me, it looks pretty good. I believe him. Yeah. Gives it the thumbs up. Yeah, I definitely like the 
the quality, the image size, and the visual of it. So yeah, I leave the link down below where you can buy it. I bought this on Amazon. Again, it's not cheap, but it's good tech. And How did you find this? I I was actually in the forums and people were talking about how to play Steam Deck with a better TV. And you know what? I played with Steam Deck a lot, even though it says a lot of updates, as Henry says, <laughs> I have too many games. But uh, yeah, it's perfect for gaming on the go, watching a movie on the go. You know, bring it outside. No one, no one knows the visor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. So, if Henry recommends it, I like it. Definitely thumbs up. Link down below if you want to buy it. So uh, yeah, Henry. You know what to do. Last words. Yes, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Ding, ding, ding. See you guys. Bye. Bye.